If you don't log in for 90 days in Clash of Clans, your base will undergo automatic upgrades. Let's embark on a one-year experiment to observe how your base transforms over time. Additionally, we're going to calculate all the resources spent during the year and the total work time put in by the builders. Let's get started. So, today's date is Sunday, 1st January 2023. Currently, the maximum level town hall is 15, and I have this rushed base. As you can see, all of my walls are at level 11, and all the defenses are at level 1. The crucial point is that all my storages are at the maximum level. During the auto upgrade process, builders automatically collect resources from collectors and store them in the storages before utilizing them. This emphasizes the importance of having maxed storages, as insufficient levels may limit builders from upgrading certain buildings. If you're considering trying the auto upgrade feature, ensure that your storages and collectors are fully maxed. I've unlocked all the troops and spells, so during the auto upgrade, the builder isn't limited in troops selection. My initial focus was on upgrading goblins and wall breakers for efficient and fast loot collection, enabling a swift progression from Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 15 to activate the auto upgrade feature. Throughout this resource farming journey, I continuously upgraded other armies non-stop. And at last my heroes and pets are now at level 1. Now, let's embark on the auto upgrade journey by refraining from logging in for a year and observe the results. So, today is Monday, 1st January 2024, and my base has completed a year of auto upgrades. Let's log in and see what happened to my base. Since my base is connected with Supercell ID, let's log in. The North season is here, and the first thing we encounter is the villager. She doesn't allow me to access my base, as she's fed up with resources being stolen by everyone, she mistakenly thinks I'm one of them and challenges me to a fight. Now, I have to attack my own base, which is something new. Let's deploy all the troops and break my base. Troops are automatically added to your army after some time wow. Achieving a 3 star on my own base is quite a mix of happiness and sadness. Now that she knows I'm the one who owns this village, she becomes emotional because I'm back. Additionally, there's a hidden daily rewards feature. Wow, that's the first time I've seen this. Basically, if you go inactive for 35 days, this daily rewards pop-up appears, offering the best rewards like the book of building and hammer of building. Now, there are numerous arrows pointing to buildings. Let's visit them one by one. First up is the season pass. I have 18 million loot, allowing me to spend resources without farming. Now, let's check the main thing, what the builders have been working on while we were away. It's amazing to see a lot of progress, particularly with walls and heroes. However, there hasn't been much upgrading in terms of troops. Additionally, none of the pets or siege machines received any upgrades. Now, let's compare the before and after results for troops, spells, siege machines, heroes, pets, we're going to calculate the cost and time of buildings, heroes, and troops. Based on the values before the Town Hall 16 update, I believe most of the time my base underwent auto upgrades before the update, which included a cost reduction for all buildings. If you've enjoyed watching so far and haven't subscribed yet, it seems a bit unfair, doesn't it? Please take a moment to like the video and subscribe for more premium content in the future. Your support means a lot. Before I show you how much the builder spent and work, I believe there is a bug. Regarding the auto upgraded buildings and troops. As you can see, all of my defenses were level 1, but now some of them are above level 1 and not showing in the pop up. Over the course of one year, my troops, spells, and siege machine were upgraded, taking a total of 37 days and 20 hours, with an auto spending of 27, 14 million elixir and 66,000 dark elixir. For building upgrades, all of the builders worked for 66 days, 5 hours, and 26 minutes, and the total cost was 73,277,000 gold. And lastly, the main focus, the heroes. They were upgraded by almost an average of 10 levels, taking 27 days and 16 hours, with a spending of 960,000 dark elixir. So during exact one year time period, builder and lab works for 131 days, 17 hours, 26 minutes, with spending 73,277,000 gold, 45.54 million elixir and 1,026 million dark elixir. Hmm, I think that's a lot of progress with the auto upgrade. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.